And your entire family, mom, dad, brother, how excited are they to come visit you here in the Sunshine State? Oh, absolutely. Uh, my parents, I'm sure, have already circled several weekends on their calendar to come down. Uh, they'll enjoy the weather for sure. And where do you think you will fit in with this team? Because as you mentioned, this Tampa Bay Lightning team has had a ton of success. Players have come and gone, but the core has remained the same. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Uh, obviously, camp is, tells you a lot of that, uh, getting into the regular season as well. but. I've had a lot of roles over my career. I just try to take them head on. Whatever I'm asked to do, I go out and do my best. Great answer. We couldn't ask for any more. Welcome to New and Blue. I'm Gabby Shirley, and I am here with Tampa Bay Lightning forward Tyler Mott. Tyler, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. This is going to be awesome. We are aboard a pirate water taxi. This one in particular is called Latitude Lindsay 2. I was told the owner named the boats after children, nieces and nephews, so that's pretty pretty special. Yeah. We are on the Hillsborough River. Emily Arena is just off here in the distance, your new home. Um, can you tell us, I bet this mode of transportation is new to you. It is. Uh, my hometown, small city of St. Clair, Michigan, is, is on the river. Been out there a few times, but this is definitely a, a different take on, on a boat transportation for me. So, speaking of the water, do you have any interest in boating, water sports, or even fishing? Interest in all of them. My experience in, in them is probably not as deep. I love being on the water. I'm a little more hesitant to be in it. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's awesome. Obviously, the city is kind of carved right into it. Hopefully some good adventures you know, on the water and, and looking at it all year. So we're just coming off the off season here. What is your summertime hobby? Ooh, I golf a lot in the summer, try to. I uh, wish my game would improve a little bit quicker than it does, but uh, spend a lot of time. We, we try to travel a little bit, my wife and I, and our families try to get together for you know a couple weekend trips a summer as well. But yeah, other than that, I spend a lot of time in the gym and the rink. How familiar are you with the city of Tampa, your new home? Yeah, I got to know it over the years playing here. Uh, I think even three, four years ago, it wasn't quite as developed as it is now. This area down here, channel side around the rink has really come a long way. So I'm excited to, to get involved in it, work my way around town and, and find some favorite spots. All right, so more about your background. You were born and raised in Michigan and you have an older brother who was previously a professional goalie. You said he last played where? He was on an American League contract in Iowa, so okay. with Minnesota's uh, minor league team. Okay, so is it safe to say you kind of followed in his footsteps even though you chose a different position? Absolutely, yeah. He is the pretty much the sole reason I play hockey. Uh, I wanted to play hockey. I just wanted to be like my older brother, like a lot of younger brothers. And your entire family, mom, dad, brother, how excited are they to come visit you here in the Sunshine State? Oh, absolutely. Uh, my parents, I'm sure, have already circled several weekends on their calendar to come down. Uh, they'll enjoy the weather for sure. They're both now retired um, after teaching for quite a few years. So they're looking forward to traveling. Uh, my brother's back in Iowa with his fiance now, so I'm sure we'll be able to drag them out of there at some point too. But uh, yeah, they're excited. It's, it's another new journey, not only for myself and my wife, but for both of our families. Okay, so now we're jumping to your wife. The two of you were married this summer in British Columbia. What can you tell us about her? She's an incredible woman. Uh, she supported me in, in every aspect of my life. She's, you know, it, uh, not only supported me, but she's pushed me to be a better person. One of my favorite stories about her, which is sometimes hard to tell, was she was the first person to push me to go seek help for my mental health. Um, and that was about six years ago. And because of her and, and that conversation that we had, I've come a long way. Um, was diagnosed with anxiety and depression just over six years ago. And I, just one of the many examples that she pushes me to be my best and I try to do the same for her. Um, she supported me every step of the way. She's picked up her life multiple times to not just follow me, but support me wherever I've been. And you know, she's really a rock for me. Someone I lean on, someone I love very dearly. And I just hope I, <laughs> I offer her even a percentage of what she gives me. I'm excited to meet her. So your wife, she's been with you since before your NHL career began. Your career has taken you to six different cities. Tampa's your sixth one. You talked about moving. How challenging is that aspect of your job, of this business? Yeah, it's a little bit easier in the summer rather than the trade deadline. You know, that allows you to kind of set up shop and get acclimated a little bit more uh, rather than just diving right in and playing hockey. Well, part of we, we try to have a positive outlook on it. You get to experience a, a few more cities and a few more areas. I really try to get involved in, in different communities, meet different people, be involved in different ways. Uh, so we, we look at it as a positive. What are your initial impressions of this city as 
a resident now. I'm um, even being here for just about a week. Uh, you see the passion in the fan base. You know, people are at the practice facility for captain's practices leading up to camp. I wanting autographs, there's people walking around. It just has this, this energy to it. Um, and I know from playing here, you know, both in the playoffs and the regular season, it's, it's a bit of an electric building. Um, and it'll be awesome to have that kind of behind you for once rather than against it. And I'm just excited to, to get on the ice in front of them. How would you describe yourself as a hockey player? I try to play an honest game. I try to you know, play 200 feet, work hard, do a lot of the little things. I, I love killing penalties, blocking shots as hard as it can be sometimes, but uh, you know, I, I, I like to play my role. I don't try to do too much, but just play hard, play an honest game, chip in offensively when I can, take some pressure off some of the other guys, and sometimes play hard minutes. And where do you think you will fit in with this team? Because as you mentioned, this Tampa Bay Lightning team has had a ton of success. Players have come and gone, but the core has remained the same. So where do you think you'll fit in? We will see. Uh, obviously, camp is, tells you a lot of that, uh, getting into the regular season as well. But I've had a lot of roles over my career. I just try to take them head on. Whatever I'm asked to do, I go out and do my best. I mean, a lot of times it's been on the PK, uh, playing matchup minutes, playing on third and fourth lines. But again, whatever I'm asked to do for the betterment of the team, I'll go out and do. Great answer. We couldn't ask for any more. Okay, we are transitioning, Tyler, to what we're calling the lightning round. Very appropriate. Um, I'm going to ask you like this or that questions. Give me your preference. Right. Um, of course, we're on a pirate taxi, so we got to start with: Would you prefer being the captain if you're on a boat, or you're okay? Let someone else drive the ship. I'd like to try my luck uh, being a captain. Why not? Are you boating with a large group or with a small group? Small group. The music is setting the tone or the conversations are flowing? Light music, more conversation. Now, if it's music, I just picked three random genres here. Pop, rock, or country? Country. I just love that. Are you singing out loud or just in your head? Lightly under my breath. Beer on the boat or beverages that are not beer? A little bit of both. Snacks or sandwiches? Snacks. Love that. All right, are you one and done with the sunscreen application? Because obviously we're in Florida, or are you constantly reapplying to prevent that sunburn? Um, I need to constantly reapply, for being honest. <laughs> Very responsible of you, I like that. Um, and then when I see the water, I'm also thinking sunrise or sunset. I love both. What is your preference? Sunset. Love that. Well, Tyler, I've already kept you here long enough, but it's been great. I just got to ask you, anything else you want to share with the fans? Because we're here for them. They want to get to know you. What else should they know about you? Uh, I'm from a small town. I carry that characteristic with me. Uh, I try and be blue collar, work boots mentality. Um, my mom always said anything worth doing is worth doing right. Um, I'm going to go out every night and, and work hard and try my best for you. I love that. That was wonderful. We got a cheers. Our Tampa Bay Lightning mugs here, Thanks and uh, that's a wrap.